Hi everyone. So, I am today we're going to be thinking about Good Friday, which is in two days time, where Jesus died for us so that we could have him always. So I think through this time that we're here, I want you to just think about that. Take time now in your day to think about God. Um, I'm going to show you a craft that my family do to remind us that Jesus carries us in difficult times. Um, I'm first going to show you a poem that <laughs> I think is really lovely and also quite relevant. So I'm going to read the poem to you and then I'll show you how to do the craft. Um, the poem is called Footprints. And you probably see, you've probably already seen this before, or heard it before at some point. Um, and I always seem to find it in people's toilets, which is exactly where I found this one. So <laughs> we're going to read it, but I think it's really important. Okay. One night, a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked, up, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during my most troublesome time in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, My precious, precious child, I love you and would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you only saw one foot of footprints, it was then that I carried you. I'm going to read the last sentence again and I want you to really think about it because I think it's very powerful. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you and would never leave you. During the times of trial and suffering, when you only see one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. So now we are going to do the craft that my family does. And whilst we're doing it, I want you to think about the last sentence of the poem as we go. You can, I was thinking the reason we would do craft was because we're in quarantine and Easter's coming up and I think it's really nice to create something. So here are some of the ones I've done with my family without the string on, but you can paint them, decorate them, make them really nice. Um, um, here's another one. So it's hangable. You put a little cross on it with daisies. And I think you just got to be really creative with what you have around the, um, what you have around the house. The stuff you will need to do this is an egg, a normal egg. You'll need some string, some ribbon, some um, sewing, knitting thread, um, some normal string or ribbon shoelaces whatever basically be creative use what you can um, um for this demonstration i am going to be using um string <laughs> i had to think of the word there okay so those are the two things you'll need you'll also need a bowl any bowl probably can find this all around your house you'll need either drawing pins or a speary kind of skewer um, and you'll need a piece of woo, a small piece of paper like this size, and you'll probably and you'll need a pen, and you'll need some scissors. So that's all you need to do this. Okay, so now you want to get out your bowl and your egg, and also your woo, drawing pins and your skewer. So what you're going to do is get your egg. And you're going to get your drawing pin and you're going to make a hole in the top and the bottom of the egg. And when you do this, you need to make sure the holes are quite big because you're going to blow the insides of the egg out. So you're going to get your drawing pin and you're going to make a hole in the top. 
and the bottom of the egg. It's quite a small hole, so now you want to use your skewer or you can use your um, drawing pin to make the hole bigger. So now I've made a hole in the top and the bottom. And now what you're going to do is you're going to blow on one end of the hole. So make sure you've washed your egg and blow the insides out. You want to be basically giving CPR to an egg. So you're blowing out and the stuff will come out the bottom. Don't breathe in. Trust me. It's disgusting. <laughs> right. So you'll need to make sure the hole is big enough. So this size and see, you can already see the inside are coming out. Basically, as I was saying earlier, CPR to the egg. <laughs> and the insides will come out. Once more. <laughs> this is what happens when you have weak lungs. <laughs> so there you go. The gross pit is over. Now you'll want to go wash your egg and clean it up. The remaining of the eggs you can go away and make a lovely omelette or pancake but for the time being you're just going to put this out the way and maybe put it in your fridge. Okay so now you've got your egg you've cleaned it up it's looking lovely um, you want to decorate your egg so you can use paint coloring pencils ribbon even tissue paper um, fabric for instance that you can find around the house or just normal coloring pencils. <laughs> My mother is bringing in some felt. She wanted to show you all her, her, magis her magical felt. <laughs> so anyway, back to what I was saying. Is, yeah, you want to decorate it and just be creative. I've already shown you a few, but I'll give you more examples. This is the one I did and I drew some flowers on this one here. Okay, so after you've done that, you're going to get your string, ribbon, whatever you decided. You're gonna make sure it's quite long. So you want it about this length. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but like this length. You'll get your scissors, okay? And you're going to cut it off here. Okay, and then you're gonna get your piece of paper. This one, a small one, you need it small. You need it about this size. And you're going to write down all your worries and fears that you're feeling at the moment. So write down your worries and your fears onto this piece of paper because when you put it onto this piece of paper we're going to be putting it inside the egg and it's basically like giving your fears and your worries to God and Jesus. Okay. So once you've written your fears and your worries on your piece of paper you're going to get your string that you cut off. You're going to fold it in half. You're going to get your piece of paper with your worries on and you are then going to, if I move out this out of the way for a second, um, you can see, you're going to get the thing, put it on one end, like so, and you're going to roll it. Like you're making a, I don't know, I was going to give them it with an analogy, but I've forgotten the analogy. <laughs> so you're basically just going to roll it. And then, so you've now rolled it and it should look like like this okay so now you're going to get your egg and you're basically going to put the string inside through the egg okay and this message should be in the middle by the end you'll want to get the rope through the egg like so and you see your piece of paper with your worries and you want to put that in side like this so it's in the middle then you'll take this end and you'll thread it through your loopy end, like so, okay? So now you it's doing this. You'll want to tie a knot here. And you can make this knot, it could be shorter, it could be like this length, or it can be like this length. It's totally up to you. Now you can cut it and adjust it. And this becomes a ornament. So you've done this, and basically, this is what you've made. The whole part of this activity and craft is actually to show you something and it's um, representing us in a way. So 
The egg is us. We're the egg sh shell. We can often be fragile and we can often be full of worries and fears. But the string represents Jesus and how he is in the midst of our worries and he carries us when we feel like we're going to fall. He is our safety net. He loves us and cares for us. And he is the one who died for our sins. And he loves us. And I think this just really shows it. Because we've got our worries, we're fragile, but the string, like, he's the one that saves us when we fall. That's the end of our craft. We've just made beautiful eggs, and this is... Ooh, let me show you one. This is one I actually made earlier. With hundreds and thousands. And that, I think that looks really cool. So that was what my one for this year. And I really recommend that when you have free time to go and make some, put them up and decorate and get ready for Easter. So I'm now going to read you a Bible verse that I think um, came to me. It's from Psalms 23 verse 4 from the Passion Bible. Lord, even when your path takes me through the valley of the deepest darkness, fear will never conquer me for you already have. You remain close to me and lead me through, the, through it all the way. Your authority is my strength and my peace. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely for you are near. All right, so that's the end. I hope you have fun making my craft and I would really love to see photos of the ones you have created um, during JGL, talk time after this at six so i really hope to see it next week and see you guys there